Live at five, a $2 billion proposal to build an expansive new jail in Fulton County was just abandoned by county leaders. Now, commissioners are considering renovations to the existing jail, but some families with loved ones behind bars just aren't on board. Atlanta News First, Rachel Aragon is live at five outside the jail right now as it stands on Atlanta's west side. Rachel, you spoke with some of those families. I did. It really depends on which family you ask, but what I can tell you, though, some families I spoke with say they have loved ones who are inmates at this very jail, and they say they are waiting for trial, but what they're really concerned about right now is the living conditions inside. Well, earlier today, I spoke to Fulton County Chairman Rob Pitts. He tells me he projects renovations for this will take anywhere from two to three years to complete, which he says is still a shorter timeline than it would have been to build a new facility. Well, the chairman says they may have to outsource more inmates than they currently do to other jails during certain periods of construction. Well, 34-year-old Samuel Lawrence was one of the Fulton County inmates that died in custody last year. His family tells us they wanted to see a brand new jail built, while families of other inmates tell me that they are for rehabbing this jail. I think it needed to be renovated, definitely. Something definitely needs to be renovated there, but I didn't think they needed to build a new one. I think they need to tear the whole thing down and restart over because you're going to have the same results if you patch the jail. If you patch the jail, you're going to still have some of the old parts in it. We also had received a statement from a spokesperson for the Fulton County Sheriff's Office who say they stand by their position that they are in favor of a brand new facility. Pre-live in Atlanta, Rachel Aragon. Atlanta News First.